Hello. Please tell me you did not write over that. I do. Dear Sanaya, I have had the privilege of knowing you for an entire year now, but it feels like so much longer. From sharing six hours next to each other on a bus to Worlds of Fun, to celebrating your birthday with 30 girls out in a lake in Branson, Missouri, or to the many, many hours spent together in car rides from home after clubs, where we were laughing, sometimes we're talking, sometimes you're calling me Bojangles, <laughs> and sometimes even crying together. There's been some amazing, amazing times I've gotten to spend with you, and in every single one of those moments, I've gotten to see who you are as a person, and here's what I've noticed. You are a friend to everybody. You notice when others hurt, and you strive to be there for them. You love everybody deeply, and you care about those that are fortunate enough to be in your life. Others always come first, and it doesn't matter what you've gone through or what you're feeling on any given day. If someone comes to you hurting and needing a friend, you put your life on hold to help them. It's no secret how much everyone loves you. You have such a sweet personality. You do. And that sweet personality draws everyone to you. Everyone just like wants to be your friend. You constantly have the control of the room with your energy and everyone just constantly looks up to you. You have such a sweet personality and it makes me hurt to know that you've had such a less than happy year. From the very first moment I met you, there were trials that you were going through. You are such a strong and brave person and have experienced things that no one ever should. There's been a lot of hard things in your life recently. I know like the loss of a house, the separation of a family, and even the pain of losing your cousin. And so from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say I'm sorry. That is something that I would never wish on anybody. And it hurts to know that someone with such a beautiful soul loving to others has to go through something like that. But through everything you've gone through, your head never gets low, you never stop caring for other people first, and the beautiful smile that you have never fades. You are such a strong person, and I admire everything about you. In many ways, you've even served as a reminder to me and taught me what it means to love other people with such a big heart and with such open arms. Above everything though, I want you to never forget that you are a stunning, gorgeous girl, you are beautiful, and you are made in the image of God. Your family loves you, your friends love you, and I love you but none of that will ever compare to the love that God has for you. He sees all the mess and all the heartbreak that goes on in your life. He sees every time you think that no one's there for you and everything you've been through, he cares for you and he wants to take you under his wing. And there is nothing in this entire world that you could ever do to take away my love, but also especially the love that God has for you. I believe with my entire heart that you will grow up to be an amazing person who continues to love and to show God's love shining within you. No matter what you go through, I want you to never forget that this beautiful girl sitting in front of me is made in the image of God and that I believe in you. I am so lucky to have you in my life and can only pray that I will get the privilege of staying in your life to watch you grow into the powerful woman God has called you to be. I love you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>